Welcome to the 84 Lumber Estimating Software Training Videos. In this video, we're going to cover how to digitize using the Area, Linear, and Count feature within Square Takeoff. Let's get started. In a previous video, we showed you how to scale the blueprint. As you can see, we have this page scaled at 63 uh, total feet. And you can also verify that by looking at the item here across the top. Once we have it scaled, we can now go in and start digitizing our items. So let's first, let's select the area tool. When utilizing the area tool, this prompt box will appear. Within here, you can enter the information for the area. For example, in this case, we're going to do a total square foot. We can also select the area type. For example, we can either select the standard area, roof area, or cubic yards. For this, we're going to simply select the standard area. We can now go ahead and select the color we'd like to use. And when ready, hit start. All we need to do is simply click around this. Once again, if you enable the ortho feature underneath the options, this will allow for your measurements to lock into 90 degrees, which will make this a lot easier and quicker to click around. So let's go ahead and let's click quickly around this perimeter. When we get to the end, we can simply double click our second to last point. We can either double click this point or we could click this point to close it or we could hit the stop button. For the area, I'm just going to simply click the origin point. Once we do that, you'll see that the total area is calculated over here at 2476.31 square feet. We're going to go ahead and hit, hit stop. Now, if we wanted to do a roof area, for example, we could simply select the roof plan. We could go over here, we could set our scale. We only have one dimension on this page. We're going to set that at 12 feet, 6 inches. We simply go from here to here. Once we do that, we can now go in once again selecting this and say that we would like to do the 1012 roof area for example. We can drop this down, select the roof area, select our pitch at 1012, and then select any of the color that we'd like to utilize for this. So let's go ahead and hit start. And within this here, you can either draw out each plane of this roof. And if you accidentally click around in the wrong areas, always remember that there is an undo button that allows for you to previously click. Also too, if your areas are not clicking correctly on there, you can remember you can disable the ortho to allow for that to click on angles outside of what the ortho currently locks on to. So let's go ahead and let's continue to move around. Since we're drawing the area and we're already in digitizing mode, this will allow for us to continue to draw this area around here very quickly. And then once again, if you accidentally click, you can simply hit the undo button to unclick your previous click as long as you're still in drawing mode. So again, clicking this origin, we can go ahead and continue around here. All right, at this point here, we're just gonna go ahead and stop with this here to save some time. But we could have continued to measure all the way around this entire area if we'd like to. But at this point here, if we stop this, we can see that our current areas that are drawn, these one, two, three, four planes of the roof that we've drawn has come out to 1,868 total square feet. And now back to the first floor plan. If we wanted to measure out the total linears, we once again could repeat the steps by selecting the linear tool. We can then come in and say that we would like to measure out the exterior wall, for example. We select the linear type. And we can select standard area, which will give you our total linear footage. Or we can select the wall area with applying a wall height and a number of wall sides. This will calculate out the total surface area. So, for example, if we needed to know the total wall square footage for maybe drywall, uh, sheathing, house wrap, whatever it might be, 
we could always utilize this here type in the height and feet and then the number of wall sides that will be applied to so if it's one wall side it would only calculate the square footage for one side of it if you needed to apply to both sides for example an interior wall maybe a drywall for an interior wall you can hit two and apply that to both sides for this here we're just going to simply stick with a standard linear and we're going to enter in a linear width which is the width of the line that you're about to draw and I know that the width of this looks like these are two by six walls. So we're going to go hit six. And then once again, let's select the color. We can raise our transparency, hit start. And once again, let's go ahead and enable that ortho. And very quickly, we can click around this perimeter. And once we get to the opposite end, we can just once again do just like we did with the area. We can either double click the final point which will stop that point there or we can simply click on the original origin point and let's go ahead and click on the original origin point and there we go we hit stop now if I needed to repeat this step and do the interior walls I could do the exact same thing once again interior walls interior wall total linear foot once again selecting standard linear uh, we will set this at four inches and once again color code this accordingly with this here when you get to the end of that interior wall you can simply double click it and we'll stop that line We'll measure all the four inch interior walls. I know that there's a couple six inch wet walls here, but we'll go ahead and just do all the four inch interior walls. All right, and there we go. Let's go ahead and hit stop there. And we can now see our total linear footage here is 171, 177.71 total linear foot. At this point in time, we can go ahead and continue on and we can do the counts. If we wanted to count out our total windows, we could do that. Let's go ahead and say total windows. We then select our count type, which is different shapes. Let's go ahead and stick with a plus sign on this. Let's select the color we'd like to utilize. And I'm going to go with an orange here. I'm going to raise my transparency up. Now the size is defaulted at 12 inch by 12 inch square sizes. Um, you can raise these up to make these bigger. I'm going to go ahead and say 24 inches just so when I click on the, the screen, the sizes of my counts are just a little larger. So let's go ahead and hit start. And uh, we'll just count these as one, um, two. Basically, all I'm doing is clicking around here. And uh, I'm, a double, I'm double clicking for when there is two of those windows. If by chance I did a mis incorrect count, I can always delete some of these counts off um, like for example when I double click those if I didn't want to double click those I can simply unclick and now that update my quantities here one two three four five um, if I did want to double click for the two pages of those windows I could do that um, now if I need to restart this I can go ahead and continue and let's go ahead and just single click this across and there we go and that'll tell us there's a total of one two three four or five six seven eight nine nine windows and i see that i missed one so i simply make sure i select it here hit start again and that will throw me back into measurement mode i can select that hit stop i can repeat the same steps for any of my interior doors and i can say interior doors once again selecting the color let's go with a diamond and let's go with that let's raise it up let's once again do 24 inches uh, hit start and I can go ahead and measure out my interior doors. And it looks like we have everything there. So we can go ahead and hit stop. And then once again, if I need to, I can move these align these up a little bit better if I didn't quite click on the door opening correctly. Align those up a little bit better. If by chance I ever need to adjust any of the colors, do anything like that, I can always revisit that just by simply selecting this here and then being able to come in and select those colors if I need to change any of the colors or raise the transparencies. Uh, maybe I want to completely darken that up. Uh, raise that transparency to 10 
and there we go same thing with the total windows maybe want to raise that up and brighten those up a little bit you can simply do that um, so once again that is how you digitize utilizing the area linear and count tool within the software thank you for watching the video in the next video we're going to cover things such as the templates and how to utilize them to be able to calculate out the material you need for this house